What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Okay, one more, one more. What do you call a freezing bear? A bear. I'll start, you finish. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Our Garfield Code of Pride. Place your hand in the air and read these with me, please. Number one, I promise to be a positive person. Two, I promise to respect others and be responsible for my own learning and behavior. Three, I promise to do my individual best. Four, I promise to demonstrate truth and honesty. And five, I promise to include everyone. What type of conflict do you think it is? I would think this is a human versus human. Human versus human? You agree? Yes. getting my morning 5210 plus moves in. Are you? I hope so. Hope you are getting your sleep. I've invited my friend. This is uh, Mini Goliath the bear here. Let me adjust my camera to join me as we make our Friday wrap-up video. Say good morning. morning. Um, anyway, so he's just gonna hang out here with me while we get this this show on the road. Um, of course, 5210 plus the big news this month. So make sure you're keeping active and keeping up on your form because you participate our PE department can get some uh, uh, much needed money for new equipment for you guys and new games for you guys. And you guys get a free t-shirt. So keep going with that. Um, and of course, I have things to celebrate. So I'm going to get right to it. Let me move my names right in front of my face here. Here we go. So lots of great pictures already, but we're going to kick it right off uh, from fifth grade, Mr. Thomas, who wanted to recognize some kids for showing incredible pride. Um, and I can't thank these kids enough, but a special pride recognition too for positivity to Miss Keegan. Thank you so much for respect and responsibility. Ava for individual best. Kai for demonstrating truth and honesty. Lorelai and for including everyone. Mason. And Mason, we've heard your name. Or we're going to hear your name a couple times today, which is a really incredible thing. And then let's move on over to Mrs. Burke's math, where she wanted to recognize a few things today. Uh, chief among them was math eye ready growth. So we did a great job last week of celebrating all of our reading eye ready growth. And I was able to give out those um, Culver's ice cream cards to those kids. And that was incredible. Um, and of course, remember, if you are individually recognized in this Friday wrap up, I'm going to be around to see you either today or Monday with a special treat, but I'm going to try for today. Okay. Um, so math, I ready growth, Ms. Ariana and Jason, Emmy, Emily, 
Jonah, Gracelyn, Ava, Sophia, Madison, Alyssa, Lizzie, Junior, and Anna. Incredible job, you guys. Also from Mrs. Burke, she wants to give a shout out to Emily Whitmore for being a positive person, to Miss Grace Berthold for respect and responsibility, to Ryan Robinson for most improved and showing individual best, to Ava Larson for demonstrating truth and honesty, and to Gracelyn Schroeder, including everyone this week. A little celebration there yet. Woo! Right? Absolutely. Very exciting. Um, and so thank you to those folks. It, honestly, I don't just read these names and get rid of them. I, we're, we're all about this pride. We're all about what makes this school special and amazing. And it's because of kids like you um, that it is. And so we thank you. And from Mrs. Burke once more, they just did an addition, subtraction, fractions unit test, which is no joke, right? It's big stuff. And the following kids did an outstanding job. So check this out. Uh, Emily, 80%. Kiri, you got 80%. Mason, 80%. Junior, 80%. Anna, 85%. Emmy, 85%. Jonah, 90%. Madison, 90%. Graceland, S, 90%. Jason, R, 95%. Nathaniel, 95%. Ava Larson, 95%. Lorelai, 95%. And Gatlin K, or Gatlin C, 100%. Those kids did their work. They practiced, they studied, and we are so proud of you. All right, moving on now to a recognition from Ms. Kasaya. Ms. Kasaya is one of the aides that she is working all over the building doing an outstanding job. And one of the things that she notices that she's down there by the first grade wing in the, uh, wing in the morning is you, Mason. Mason in 5A is always super awesome. At the crosswalk and as he enters campus, he is the only one that says thank you and have a good day every time they meet. And that's incredible. So from Miss Kasai to you, Mason, thank you for being a positive and respectful. It makes her day every time. That's awesome. I'd like to move on now to 4B with Miss Spidell, who wants to give a teacher recognition to Wyatt Malika, who can be counted on to do the right thing even when no one is watching, which is a big deal. Yes, it is. And Sophie, who grew 487% on her iReady reading test. That's 112 points growth. That's craziness. And Malika grew 223% on her iReady reading test, which is outstanding. And then, of course, students in that classroom recognize each other. And so the following students were recognized by their peers, which is a huge, huge deal. Uh, Jet, who's a positive person, a good participant, and always ready to learn. Emmy, who participates every day and is a good friend. Gabby is respectful and is always quietly doing her work. And Caden, has persevered on his iReady reading test. I want to congratulate you guys for not only your teacher recognitions, but the student recognitions as well. Mrs. Wallen had a recognition from 2A today. First of all, just to say thank you to all her students who worked so hard in COGAT and for doing their best, and to you, Joshua, for showing all pride rules and all that you do. On to Mrs. Javernick down there in KA. She has students showing pride all day long, and I've been down there to visit quite a few times this week, and it's amazing, isn't it? Yes, it is. He agrees. Um, for earning 40 Grizzly coupons, which is done by showing hard work and showing pride behavior, to you, Eli, and Zelly, Ailey, Catherine, and Hazel. You guys should be so very, very proud of yourselves. Okay, let's go on now to just down the other end of the hallway, kindergarten with Mrs. Carr. She wants to call out Tesla this week. Tesla, you're always including others and being a positive person, and we're so grateful for that. And I also want to congratulate the entire classroom for their sight words, um, uh, sight word hearts and KB, which were so pretty. So thank you for doing those, and thanks for practicing your heart or your sight words. From Mrs. Jackson in 3A, thank you for being a positive person. Um, Easton and Arsenia, and thank you for showing respect and responsibility, Elijah and Taylor, for your individual best, Daniel and Evelyn, for demonstrating truth and honesty, Braylon and Nevaeh, and for everybody belongs, Riker and Kaylee. Those are not hard, no, excuse me, those are hard things to do at times, and you're doing an incredible job. From 4A and Mrs. Thomas, Mrs. Thomas wanted to recognize all of fourth grade for finishing a really hard math unit on word problems with multi-steps and all operations, and wanted to give a special kudos to Chloe. You started back at GES this week, and you've done an exceptional job, Miss Chloe. Thank you. She'd also like to recognize a couple of students for being role models um, for excellence in work habits and behavior from 4A, and so to these students, we thank you, and we recognize you. Trinity, Ray, Lila, Jeremiah, Louie, Kai, and Emily. How wonderful. 
And all right, we have another staff spe a special staff recognition from Mrs. Angeletta, our coach, and she wanted to celebrate Dylan and Peyton for the growth that they, they had the last couple of weeks. And I even took pictures of the graph. You can take a look right now and see how incredible that they did. So well done to those folks. And then finally, uh, from Mr. Lindsay and GT, he also uh, recognized and saw such incredible work in our second graders who took their COGAT test today. So a huge kudos to you second graders who've worked so hard this week on their COGAT tests, okay? Those are our recognitions today, and I wanna close out by telling you just again uh, how incredible all of you are doing. Um, this was a full week and an amazing week. We are getting ready to celebrate Valentine's next week, which is an awesome opportunity. So there's two things happening next week. One it's Valentine's. Of course, we're going to celebrate those on Thursday and have some parties with you. And um, But the other part that we're going to do is it's called Kindness Week. Um, and so we're seeing lots of hearts show up on the windows. Um, and those are a way to tell not just the people inside this building, but the people outside of this building, um, what kind of hearts and what kind of people go to school here. Um, and next week, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you to show kindness um, and express kindness, not only in your words, but your actions. And so I want to just leave you with that thought and encourage you this weekend uh, to think of ways to, to show kindness to your um, fellow students and staff. And guess what? Next week is the annual Garfield Staff Appreciation Week. Um, and we're going to get them breakfast and there's going to be a coffee cart. And there's going to be lots of cool ways that we as the adults are going to celebrate your teachers and the people around you. But you can too. And you can do that through words of kindness. You can do that through just impeccable behavior. You can do that by looking at them and saying, you're awesome, which is <laughs> something that always makes my day. Um, but there's lots of ways to appreciate your teachers and how hard they're working for you. So think of some ways you might do that over the weekend and let's make them feel loved and appreciated and special all week long. Have a great Friday, Grizzly, and we'll see you in the hallways and cafeteria hey, in the classroom. Hey, Bye. That's